pretty shocking that he'd talk about Entry Point. I personally think that Notoriety is far more of a Payday 2 ripoff than Entry Point. I found that if you wanted to do loud missions, you would play Notoriety. Notoriety is way more of a copy Entry of Point Payday 2. Entry Point is a Payday 2 ripoff. Okay, okay, I get it. Notoriety, the real Payday 2 ripoff, right guys? You gonna stop giving me sh for this one? I hope so, because quite frankly, I had a gut feeling that there was a bigger Payday 2 ripoff that I'd played before, and Entry Point was just the first one that I came around to and the first one that people sent me, and I was like, oh, this must be the one, and clearly it wasn't. That being said, I still think Entry Point is a Payday 2 ripoff, um, less so than this game, and that's gonna be its own video. We'll talk about Entry Point and, you know, how everyone seems to not be too happy with me about that video, uh, so I'll be defending myself later, but before I defend myself, yeah, we, we gotta talk about notoriety. And I gotta get something off my chest when it comes to this one. Uh, I'm really, really not okay with this, and it made me feel dirty playing this game, never mind knowing that I was going to record it and then put a video on the internet that might make more people play it. Because as you've probably read from the title and the thumbnail, uh, notoriety is just flat out thievery. This game is just stolen, and that's not okay. I want people to understand that that's not okay. This isn't okay. Initially when I came in here I was planning on doing a funny skit and I was going to mix and match notoriety and payday clips and it was it was supposed to be just a funny haha -ha joke and I don't think I can do that. The best funny haha -ha joke in this video that you're gonna get is is in the beginning of this video because this is a serious video and I think that's for good reason. Because in case it wasn't abundantly clear, Evan Pickett aka Brickman just shamelessly and blatantly stole Payday 2, remade it in Roblox, and is currently making money off of somebody else's game. And that is all manners of fucked up. Like, this isn't a matter of somebody taking a game and having it be inspired by another game, like it claims to be in the description of the game. Notoriety is not inspired by Payday. Notoriety is just Payday 2, but recreated in Roblox. And I take several issues with that, and you should too. Now listen, listen, I don't like drama. I hate drama. But I can't, in good faith, look at this. Look at this. This is the same map. This is the same skill trees. This is the same infamy system. It is the same game. He took the same game, remade it, and is profiting from it. I know, I know. You're probably just a kid on Roblox. You wanted to play Payday 2. You can't play Payday 2 because you can't afford the $10 game or you can't run it on your laptop and you want to play it for free. So it makes me look like the bad guy here for being critical of this game. Because if, heaven forbid, this gains any sort of traction and the developers of Payday 2 Overkill take this game down for being just blatantly stolen, which for the record, I think they should because this is absurd. Third, then again, I'm the bad guy. I took down someone's favorite game, right? And I don't think that they will. I don't think that Overkill's gonna take this game down. We're gonna talk about that in a second because I do have uh, some research that I did. But if that did happen, I'd be the bad guy. And I shouldn't be the bad guy because this is ridiculous. Anyways, history time. Because when I saw this game, after I finished my first play session of it, I was like, there's no way that this is allowed, right? Like, there's no way that somebody is allowed to just steal a game, remake it in Roblox, and make money off of it. Because this is other people's game. This is other people's brainchild. Other people had these ideas and put them into practice. So, so what happened here? Has it always been this way? Well, it turns out, no. 
After doing some research and finding some Reddit posts, as well as the official wiki page for the game, apparently Notoriety used to be called just The Heist, but this was changed due to copyright reasons. According to another Reddit user, it was called Payday 2 at some point, but then it got changed to The Heist, and then there were copyright concerns, so they had it changed to Notoriety. I don't know how true the claims of it just being called Payday 2 are, but I think it's pretty clear that at some point it was called The Heist, and that's because Roblox itself did a game review on The Heist back in 2015. Now quickly to dispel some sort of stupid rumor that I've also seen in some of these posts and some stupid kids are gonna comment this because they're not paying attention. Notoriety says on its Roblox game page that it was created in 2010, and some savvy researchers may know that Payday, the heist, the first Payday game, came out in 2011. So, aha, got him, right? Clearly, Payday is a ripoff of Notoriety. Uh, wrong. Notoriety's development started around 2014, 2015, and it's pretty clear in just about every single sense of the word, it says that the game is inspired by Payday 2. So if it was inspired by Payday 2, it couldn't predate this. The explanation here is simple. The place that was originally not Notoriety, that was just a blank place for Roblox, was created in 2010, and the game wasn't created until later. Simple stuff. But regardless, the thing I was wondering was, does Overkill Studios, the people who made Payday 2, know about this game, and why do they just leave it here? Surely they should get involved in some way, because this has got to be a legal nightmare, right? They just stole an entire game. And it turns out, they do have to know about this game, which surprised me even more. I found a different Reddit post from around 2015, which is called Overkill Might Need to Look at This, and in that Reddit post, it's talking about the heist. Obviously, the heist being notoriety, and basically what it says is the developers of this game are selling DLCs, which you can buy for real money, and effectively, these developers are making real money off of Overkill's game. That's what's going on here. And in the comments of that post, I found a comment from an Overkill employee who said thanks for the heads up and that they were notifying a different developer who I believe is the community manager, but I'm not too sure. So obviously Overkill had to have known about the game to some degree. I'm not sure how high it was on their radar, but we can see another comment from CreepBG who says, I'm not sure if you guys took action already, but it seems like the game has been re-released under another name, Crime Spree. And as you can see, the link is to a game called Alpha Crime Spree. But if you click that link, it takes you to Notoriety's page. I don't know what the legal behind the scenes here is. Obviously not, how could I? I don't know what kind of action Overkill took against Notoriety, if any. I don't know if the name changes in the game and the in-game heists is because Overkill reached out, or because there was some sort of panic and Evan decided that he needed to go through and rename everything in a hopes that his game wouldn't get taken down. I don't know Evan's financial situation. Maybe Notoriety was his big break and he just wanted to run with it. But none of those things matter because this is fucked up. I don't think there's anybody on the planet who can look at these two games and not think that this was just shamelessly ripped off and stolen. Could you imagine the absolute shit storm that would happen if I made a heisting game not on Roblox and put it on Steam and sold it for $10 and all of my maps and all of my mechanics and all of my UI were identical to Payday 2's? It would be a fucking nightmare. But because it's on Roblox, it gets a free pass? Now, I'm sure there's gonna be a fair amount of people that are going to come at me because I've said in the past that movesets taken from other games, especially the Pluck rework for YBA a while back that's clearly taken from League of Legends, isn't stealing. And not only that, but because JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is a copyrighted IP that people should not be able to make JoJo games. And the thing is, from a legal standpoint, I stand by all of that. I think all of that is true. Legally speaking, you should not be able to make money off of someone else's copyrighted IP. No sh**, it's not rocket science. 
That being said, I don't think it's a black and white issue, and I think there does exist some moral context here that needs to be taken into consideration. A lot of these Roblox and JoJo anime games, while being inspired by other games, are not just flat out stolen. An easy example of this is Troublesome Battlegrounds 2. Troublesome Battlegrounds 2 is a game that I used to play that's long since dead, but in that game, it had a lot of maps and a lot of movesets from a game called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven. The thing is, there was a lot more to Troublesome Battlegrounds 2 than just Eyes of Heaven. The game didn't play even nearly similar, it consisted of more game modes than that game had, and generally speaking, while taking inspiration from the game, it was clearly different. This is not that. I said it before, and I'll say it again, this isn't inspired by Payday 2, this is Payday 2 copy and pasted into a different platform. So, what's the takeaway? What's the point? Why make this video? Um... I don't know. I don't expect anything to get done here, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. If Overkill already knew about this in 2015, and they haven't taken action, or feel like they can't take action, or I guess in some weird world they don't care that Evan is out here just actively profiting off of their game, I I'm not sure. Uh, but what I can say is that if you're playing this game, don't play this game. Don't support this developer, because while they may have worked a good amount of time in order to take Payday 2 and put it in Roblox, the point is that they're making money by taking someone else's game and putting it in Roblox. And that's not okay. We shouldn't be okay with that. With that being said though, I really don't think there's much else that I can go on with this. Notoriety is stolen. I don't feel bad saying that. If this starts some big storm of drama, then you know what? So be it. Because we gotta draw the line somewhere. This is where I draw the line. Because this isn't okay. I'm done here though, so if you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like and subscribe. If you don't, and notoriety is like your lifeblood, and if you saw it taken down, you'd explode, uh, then you can dislike. And with all that being said, have a wonderful day and night wherever you are, and I'll see you guys next time.